We'll start with Ruo Ando. Hello everyone, uh, I'm really excited to talk here. So thank you for listening to me. And uh, in this presentation, um, I'm going to talk about real application uh, using multi threading for analyzing a huge pickup file. Uh, this is a tool uh, which take full advantage of <coughs> Much core processor and uh, cheap high performance improvement. Actually, is there anyone uh, in this room that thinks that Wireshark is a little bit slow? No? <laughs> the design goal of this tool um, is a kind of multi threaded Wireshark with automated deduction. So I guess. Uh, Multi threading can be uh, one of the new frontier for packet inspection. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, my name is Ruo Ando. I'm working in a uh, governmental organization. So I'm not weird. <laughs> so uh, my talk is divided in four parts. Uh, at first, I would like to um, talk about the uh, current catastrophic situation of traffic analysis. The funny thing here is that uh, we have too many packets to be inspected. However, for the problem uh, to have the solution, we have more packets. Uh, this is a kind of very helpless situation. i tell you what later. And the second one is the main part. Uh, when you build a tool for analyzing huge PCAP file using massive threads, you have some selections on how to convert code into a concurrent version. And the selection of futures and containers and uh, synchronization mechanisms such as mutex, rock free, and uh, something like that. And the third part is a demo and experimental result. Uh, simply stated, um, speed up is a ratio of uh, parallel execution time to serial execution time. So I'll show you the comparison. Then let me conclude this talk. Uh, this slide shows a uh, catastrophic situation. As everyone of audience already know, internet traffic is increasing at exponential rate. However, uh, there are two few professionals. Um, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, <coughs> So I was so excited to uh, okay. what's, what's going to do. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, a huge traffic imposes a great burden on security researchers and analysts. But uh, traffic explosion is not similar to the hacking or exploit. Because hacking and exploit is impulsive and will be finished uh, within several minutes. But this is not the case of traffic explosion. Um, unfortunately, tra traffic explosion keeps exploding like an accident of nuclear power plant. So, um, in my case, in my laboratory, I have 200 to 300 log files uh, to be stored. Uh, 
uh, in the server to be inspected. Well, <coughs> during this 20 minutes presentation, three to five gigabyte file to uh, is stored to be inspected. Uh, <laughs> this is really helpful situation for me. So uh, automation is really important uh, for me and uh, everyone of audience. But for my experience, uh, open source data mining tool doesn't work in many cases uh, because in the world of advertisement and marketing, a uh, commercial tool uh, is not going to find people trying to hide his activities. And uh, to make things more worse, uh, open source data mining tool uh, simply ignore people trying to hide and assume benign behavior is a part of everyone else. So the, I would like to emphasize that uh, packet dump is a last result. PKF file is rare and hard to find source to be trusted. And uh, machine learning, uh, um, this right, uh, one million versus one trillion. Uh, machine learning has table property. Uh, I tell you what, uh, if machine learning uh, doesn't work on the data set, comprising one million training data set. What is needed? What is needed is much more bigger set. Uh, this is unexpected uh, because if the machine learning failed to fail in the data set comprising on one million training data set, uh, the intuitive conclusion is that it doesn't work at all. But uh, according to this paper, all we need is much more bigger packets. So the situation is very curious, isn't it? So Astra has four features. At first, Astra uh, should be run on commodity workstation and laptops. It can run uh, with reasonable computing resources. Because GPU and uh, crossing system such as Spark is still expensive and high cost and sometimes bulky. And uh, more importantly, uh, Astra uses POSIX P thread, which is really old programming style. Uh, when writing a program, and choosing appropriate level of abstraction is really important. Usually, hardly anyone uh, misses the old programming method, except hackers. What we are copying here is a real world packet stream, um, which is huge, not nice, uh, not organized in regular pattern, and unfortunately, unpredictable. So flexibility is important. Like you use assembly language for uh, analyzing malware binaries. So raw threads and MPI uh, expose the control of parallel computing at the lowest level. But at the lowest level, we don't have libraries. Containers uh, and schedulers. So you have to implement uh, these utilities in full scratch uh, by yourselves, like the era of 1980s or 1990s. I guess this field can be one of the new frontier for packet inspection. As a result, Astra is compact but powerful. Actually, Astra has about 2,000 lines of code, but can process about 75 million packets in um, 200 
to 400 minutes. Okay. This is uh, intuitively simple. Asra takes two steps. <coughs> Reduction using task, task decomposition and clustering uh, using data decomposition. Uh, as you know, reduction takes a collection of data and reduces it to single scalar value. And the clustering is a task of grouping data um, in the same group in such a way that uh, data in the same group is more similar than to those in other groups. And the important thing here is reduction passes container to cluster, the container is a really important uh, key in this two-stage processing. A container is a cross template of C++, and the future selection are almost all anomaly detection of packet based on futures. There are many research efforts, and uh, futures could be many. But the important thing here is to find a proper representation for reducing massive pickup fire. We use this representation in the middle of this slide, key value, and we use two structures. Um, and uh, this is a little bit complicated. Uh, please see the source code in the detail. And uh, let me talk more about continents. Uh, continents is a really important point for mass threading. You have three options. First one is STL. Uh, STL is an uh, old, basic, and regular programming style. But STL is not concurrent friendly, so it is a standard practice to wrap up a rock around STL. Uh, to make them safe for concurrent access. And the second one, 10 minutes left. left. Uh, second one is Intel TBB. It's an excellent library, but uh, Intel TBB provides um, highly concurrent container, but the uh, highly concurrent container is sometimes a high cost. It takes longer time. and. Uh, I guess this one is mainly for scientific computation. So unfortunately, uh, what, what everyone here is doing is not like science computation. So the data is not well organized and I'm pretty predictable. So uh, in this case, TBB is not suitable, I guess. And the third one is the emerging technology of Thrust. Thrust is a C++ template library for GPU. Uh, by using Thrust, uh, you can write a code to perform, uh, reduce, scan, and something like that, accelerated by GPU. But unfortunately, as far as I know, there's no plan to implement the hash table, map, and associated container uh, in GPU. So I guess it will be done time to be common for packet inspection. I guess this is a, this could be a future work. And uh, this slide is the main architecture of Azure. Uh, if you have a case uh, when the computation time on individual pickup file it's variable and unpredictable. You'd be better served by task decomposition. Uh, specifically, if you have a case uh, 
the amount of computation time will vary. Uh, dynamic scheduler will be based. And here, as with dynamic scheduler of task decomposition, uh, load balancing is important to take into consideration. Uh, you have to implement scheduler by yourself. So the, <coughs> please see the upper side of this slide. Uh, this is a shared container, which is queue. The dynamic scheduler involves setting up the shared container, uh, which holds data and arrow threads to pull out tasks uh, when the previous task is completed. So you should uh, protect shared container uh, so that the thread um, can be assigned correctly, and the uh, task should not lost through some corruption of uh, shared container. Okay, let me show about explain the result. Uh, to put it simply, the speed up here is the ratio of parallel computing time to sequential computing time. And uh, scalability. So what is scalability? I think scalability is a measure of how much speed up the program get as you add more and more core and thread. With, I guess that this kernel tuning is proper, but I, I don't know exactly, but the with proper tuning of Linux kernel, Azra can 75 million packets uh, with 500 threads in about 287 minutes. Uh, to tell the truth, um, there are some rooms to be improved, in, uh, to be improved uh, because the size of shared container is not proper. Uh, lock intention and uh, context switching Card too much, so. But uh, I guess it's reasonable that uh, can process more than seven million packets in several hours. Um, uh, I would like to skip the attack detected in detail because some issues of public data set. So instead, let me show you a demo. One minute demo. Uh, first of all, the binary is compiled according to the configuration of number of threads. Ah, sorry. And the reduction step one, so uh, this demo is too fast, so I cannot demonstrate. Uh, reduction step two, and, uh, building binaries for clustering. Clustering has uh, five to seven dimensions. And that data is truncated to, for this demo, which is too short. So do you know what's going on? Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Uh, because uh, machine learning is too fast. The machine learning relies on so huge data set and uh, processing speed is so fast. So machine learning might solve problem. Uh, we cannot expect it to solve. You know, it's such that we don't fully understand. So <laughs> it's too fast, so I cannot talk about it. So, okay. 
So let me conclude this talk. Um, I have talked about a little bit weird application, uh, which is called Astra, uh, using multi threading. For copying with real world pickup stream, which is huge, uh, not nice, and sometimes evil, uh, flexibility is needed. Just like uh, you should use assembly language for malware binaries. But uh, using raw thread and MPI uh, takes advantages of uh, retrieve good performance of much core processors. And uh, P thread can expose the control of parallel computing at the lowest level. Uh, but unfortunately or not, uh, we should implement everything. Libraries, content schedulers, this is, which is really exciting for me. And as a result, they offer maximum flexibility. So as a result, ASRA is compact, but powerful. ASRA has thousands of code and uh, can process more than 70 million packets and 200 to 5 million so 200 to huh? 200 to five minutes for future work. Uh, Astra must be speed up because there's rooms to improve. Uh, okay, configure the size of containers and applying TBB and GPU. And uh, I really recommend uh, this. Mars threading, applying mass threading for packet inspection. It's really exciting. This can be one of the new frontiers for packet inspection. So thank you, everyone. That's all. Thank you for listening.